college hockey taking center ice this week as well. BGSU headed to the NCAA tournament for the first time in nearly three decades. With more from the Falcons, we're joined now by BCSN's Claire Dow. Hey Eric, there's plenty of excitement in Bowling Green for this Falcons squad as they head to Allentown, Pennsylvania for the Midwest Regional. Now, as the four seed, they've got a tough first round matchup. BG faces the top seeded defending national champion Minnesota Duluth Bulldogs at four o'clock on Friday. I think their biggest strengths are something that's very difficult to see on videotape. Um, their experience is their biggest strength. They've been through this before. They're, they're the defending national champions and you can't teach that experience. Not only are the Bulldogs defending champs, Duluth's senior class hasn't missed a tournament. I think it's important. I mean, those guys are the ones that have been through it. Some of them have been through it, uh, you know, for, for three years, Parker and a couple of our seniors, Billy, and and uh, those guys need to obviously be a good voice in the room. Uh, the other guys, it's always exciting, you know, when you're a first year guy, but this whole group is, you know, most of this group has gone through it, so it's important uh, that we use that to our advantage. On tape, it's their depth. Uh, they've got They've got so many people that are contributing. Um, it looks like they pretty much play one goaltender, but on the back end and up front, it's it's everybody. Um, they're a big, heavy team that you know that has skill. I mean, it's it's all the boxes are checked with this group for sure. But I but again, I, I think the 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 biggest strength of this group that we're playing against is is the experiences that they went through last year in the national tournament. You just you, you cannot teach somebody that you have to live through it and, and we don't have it but we're gonna have to, we're gonna find a way 2019 marks Duluth's fifth straight tournament appearance now this Falcon squad doesn't have those tourney reps but Bowling Green went three one and one against Minnesota State and Ohio State who also take the stage this weekend and it's now a two nothing game in favor of Bowling Green. I think our A game is, is good enough. Now, I don't know Minnesota Duluth and I don't want to pretend to. What I know, this is a whole other issue. <laughs> There's a lot of problems. But this is a neutral site. It's one game. Um, I, I think we can create some problems if the collective effort and the collective group is there on Saturday at 4 o'clock, which is the plan. Yeah, that's a heck of a shot. Holy cow. Up over the shoulder and in. We don't want to be the group that, that, that gets there and, and looks like it doesn't belong, obviously, I, I believe in my heart we belong. Um, but again, we, we have to live through it. We're going to have to see how these boys react. That's a big time shot. We deserve to wrap our arms around this opportunity and put our best game forward because we've earned it. And, and that's something that uh, we've, we've also talked to with the group. And um, I, I want them to 100% wrap their arms around this and, and and put their best game out there and see what happens. That's what the national tournament's all about. The Falcons fly out tomorrow. I'll have the latest from Allentown this weekend on Sports Nightly.